<sighs> and let's see. Yep, there's the ribbons. Let's see what they're going to be pulling out here. Looks like Iceman doing his normal set. Replacing the Seeky, though, actually, for a Birdchuck. Yeah, they're just going with his double toaster that's been making so much happen for him today. I can only assume that Ice isn't bringing the Seeky because he knows it's not going to land on a Yetta ribbon. Yeah. Really? When would that ever hit a ribbon in general? You're just going to see them, this heat guided missile be effortlessly leaped over by like a 16 year old girl. I mean, that calls into question all Honestly, sorts of imagery. Yeah, that that makes you wonder exactly, like, one, how powerful are these girls? Oh, wait, that didn't cancel? Holy crap, I thought that was going to cancel for sure. It looked like the explosion was coming right behind his butt. But in the end, Iceman is going to get rushed there. Has only about a quarter of his life left. Rush is online. Gets out of that Dendi grab effortlessly. Very good use of his jump right there. Choosing not to try and rush Yetta in the corner, knowing that he's got so much more to do before Yetta's even worth trying to rush. Yeah, there's time for it to happen, but he really needs to be precise. And unfortunately, he did get a hit in just after he died. A post-mortem hit is unfortunately not going to be enough to take this. Yet again, he gets rush in a second as well. But Iceman has the explosive start that he he might need. So, Ice not really able to pin Yetta down at all. He's going to burn the rush. Going to get two hundred and eighty. Oh, only... I know we're talking about a quarter of the life here, and I'm like, only two eighty? What the heck, Iceman? You can do more. I, that rush is so freaking powerful that he's got with there. It, it could do like what, like 360 something damage with it. Maybe 380 on a good on a good rush. Yetta gonna go for a good rush here too. Gonna get a good 310 damage, probably around the max for double toaster. Yeah, very few as proficient and efficient as Yetta in landing toasters in any capacity. Yetta is just very efficient with all of his different techniques, and he's got Iceman down to last hit right now. Once again, Iceman does have the time to make it happen, but not if he goes ahead and just dies. See, Ice, that's why you shouldn't have picked Sparring. You are, in fact, mental. <sighs> Let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to comment on this here? Oh, it's just going to go right into bands of Scrap and De of Denna, according to Yetta. Iceman, don't you pick it. You, you can tell he's thinking, okay, but do I actually stay here, though? Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Taking some time to think about what he's going to pull out. Starting to type. Let's see what he's going to be pulling. Sparring it! Iceman, what did I just say to you? Are you doing this to spite me? Ice. Why are you doing this to yourself? Ice changing the color of the ribbon. Oh, now he's going mad. Oh, he's going for the freaking, uh, oh, also a set change with it. But now I look like I've just gone to a freaking, uh, the pothead concert. Like I've just come back from an insane clown posse meeting. Ice with double chiller looking to just outbox Yetta. And get it's a good freeze off, but if there's one thing, oh, actually, as I was about to say, he doesn't get ice chained. Half of his health is gone from one freezy punch. Absolutely incredible use of of uh, timing and skill right there by Iceman. I guess they don't call him that for no reason. Nope, they don't. He is, of course, the 92nd Iceman that has ever competed in the World of Arms. But the first 91 yeah. were all eaten by Yetta. Let's see if he can avenge his froze his frozen uh, his frozen comrades, or if he'll be made into the popsicle himself. He's gonna be taken round one. I guess that would make him the popsicle idol right now. <laughs> He'd be the popsicle star, and Yetta is switching over to an arm to try to toasty hit get a, or a toasty Iceman right up and melt him in his tracks. Getting a good hit with the toaster into a hit with the slap. Oh, but there's a cold ice hard rush with uh, 
Double chilla. And what I said does not make any sense. I'm sorry. It's like 9 a.m. here, and I'm not used to waking up yet. Yetta rocking uh, what is basically choice. a weird alternate universe ribbon default set. Yeah, I mean, basically, it kind of it kind of reminds me of the uh, the slap reminds me of the original design of um of the popper back when like arms was first revealed and they had stuff of it at like E3 or something like that. Gets his own rush right there. The Mander, why? Mander, why? He was frozen in place. You had all the time to tickle him, but you just chose to not to. This is the worst hentai I've ever seen. Ice very, very close to having that burny cold ice rush. Just... He's just going back and forth, looking for some opportunity to use it. He finds an opportunity, but unfortunately not a very good... And is going to get slapped out by Yetta. That's really what he needed right there. I mean, he was at a huge disadvantage, and still his help is not in the optimal place. That grab! During an opponent's rush. Never mind, never mind, it's just losing. He was in a, He had some good things going for him, but in the end, unfortunately, just wasn't enough. Yeah, just unfortunate that the fight back was from so far behind. Yetta doing incredibly well to get it back to that point, but one grab, one punch is literally all it was going to take. Ice responding in dramatic fashion. And his sparring ring pick actually worked out. Who would get? No, yeah, yeah, they're going sparring again. Oh my gosh, why, why do y'all want to stay here so badly? You know there are like fifteen other maps you can choose from in this game, right? We have gentlemen's. You can go anywhere you want at all. But no, we're just gonna play a game of have you met sparring ring? Uh, uh, let's see, Iceman sticking with that double chilla, Yetta sticking with his rope toaster and slap. Despite losing the last game with it, he might see something he can make work. I mean, I could see why this would be good at punishing a stationary ribbon, but how often do ribbons really stay stationary? Yeah, so far, Yetta is winning the slap bet. And... That was, that was fantastic, I'll give you that one. That was really fantastic. question like is, is one. he going to get five free slaps? Uh, it looks like he's been training with some grand masters ever since then. He's mastered precision, it looks like, but will he have the speed and the power to take this? So far, all signs point to yes, but will the slap connect this time? It actually will. Thank you, Slap Amanda. You just got slapped in the face, my friend. Now it's Iceman versus the Ribbon. The Ribbon Machine. He's pulling. Yeah, Yetta really is looking like a ribbon machine after he's pulling out all of these different tactics, switching it up entirely from the last round. The last match, really, in general, was all in Iceman's favor. It looks like the ice is starting to melt, and he's barely avoiding the slabs and not avoiding that one at all. It's amazing. Nothing has changed until Ice brings in the cooler one, but nothing changed about the loadouts, the characters, the players, the stage. It's literally all about playstyle in that game. Yeah, he really did make good adaptations. He went more for a, a stationary grounded playstyle, which in the end did end up working for him. He was able to catch a lot of Iceman's jumps just due to the uh, the angle that the slap throws at. And speaking of the slap, it's going to be starting that rush for 345 damage and landing another nice one too. Yetta is still dominating over Iceman right now. That cool ring, I don't think has landed a single time yet. Aside from the rush juggle, which <laughs> it was only the cooler rank part that was landing, so Ice got his rush landed, but for only 240 earlier. And so even though oh. Ice has been so aggressive here, and Yetta is still ahead. Yeah, despite that breeze, Yetta, like we said before, has been doing fantastic about keeping himself in a good defensive position. Really just kind of like punching those triggers in whenever he needs to. Goes for his rush right here. Iceman is going to go for his as well. And he's going to come out on top. The Chilla outpacing that toast. 175 though. After all that. Yeah. Really though, when you're at a health disadvantage, you'll take anything you can get. And it has swung it into his favor. Yeah. Not getting knocked down there. Landing at just the right time. Oh, it's so close right now. Yetta has a little bit of... 
Oh, it's back and forth. Yes, is going to have Rush very soon. Might be able to burn it to try and take the round. Oh, is he going to punch? No, he's just going to go for the grab. I think Iceman was waiting for him to burn that Rush. And unfortunately, just gets an incorrect read. And Yetta is going to be taking that. <sighs> Yetta becoming an absolute master of mind games there. Like... <sighs> Now, let's see. This is best of five, yeah, think, right? Yeah, so... Are we so going back to sparring? more matches of sparring range. <laughs> Banding DNA and Scrap again. Iceman, there are more stages. Please. Please, Iceman. No! no. All, he sa all he says is, you know Oh, what. God. He is just poking us. He's, he's, like, going on Facebook and poking us every three seconds with this. And yet it just says the word poggers. Not an emote, not a reference to, like, not a Twitch picture. Just the word poggers. Ice bringing out the bird shot. Sometimes, sometimes I hate the internet, but I'm still hopelessly addicted to it. For the reason that you are hopelessly addicted to the internet, however, we're not allowed to discuss. Yeah, no, I'm just saying that the entirety of Avengers Endgame certain website that I, I enjoy frequenting sometimes. That website being casualarms.net. Yeah, where you can find everything like um uh, all of Avengers Endgame apparently. Oh, good ice grab right there by Iceman. He is at a severe health disadvantage, but his rush disadvantage has just been patched up. Let's see what he's going to be able to do with this. That Birdshot just being at max extension, but not maxed range for the slap, which is going to knock Iceman down. He's been doing so well at swatting him out of the air and keeping him off the ground, too. Yeah. It's just this giant anti-ribbon uh, anti fly-swatter that's been going at him the whole time. That Slamamada doing so much work for Yetta. And Ice gets the first part of the freeze chain. Nothing else, though. And he's gonna get slapped on the behind. Yeah, I know traditionally in uh, on the internet, tentacles have been the bane of teenage girls, but the way it's really making work of Iceman just shows how effective it is right here. Gonna be shielding that rush. There might be a break though. No, not quite enough, but I think the chip damage put it into oh. Iceman's favor. He has to burn the rush. Does land it in the end though, just barely. All you had to do was shield ice. It's not always oh, worth man. going for the punish. He got just a little bit too fancy right there. He's starting off fancy though with that footwork, starting with a bird chug landing, but retorted right away by Yetta with that toaster. Ooh, major arm damage applied to both. Major arm damage. Uh, good shield right there. And great parries by both of them. Neither General parries. Oh, good hit right there by the chill. I mean, but what's going on right now, all you can really say is like, oh, good this, oh, good that, because no one's hitting anyone, they're just evading. Until, of course, Yetta <laughs> lands the hit. As oh. they say, oh, what? Iceman, despite activating second, gets the rush right there, cutting right through Yetta's mono rush of the Mander. But it's blown away by his comeback. Yetta getting frozen again. Ice trying to get those chains, but it's just not coming off. Yeah, I see what he's trying to do here, but Iceman is just staying too side to side mobile this time. And that's the adjustment that from the last time that he lost this was uh he was staying very aerial up and down. He was staying very vertically mobile. And is this another rush ex another rush exchange going into that flavor? Ice going to land Ice the burr code. Absolutely. Just decimating every single time they go for a rush exchange. And like I was saying before, Iceman's made some adjustments with the way he's staying in the air. Instead of going up and down vertically, he's making more use of side to side movement, which is really what's messing up that Mander and keeping it from landing every time. Uh, let's see, Iceman is still just going back and forth right here, not allowing Yetta to take a hit on him. But of course, Yetta is really doing the same. 
You know, they'll get one hit in, but nothing substantial enough to really change the situation of the, the match. It's all just been a constant back and forth of neutral. Yeah, both have got their rush available. And we've seen Ice beat up Yetta's rush twice when he's had that bird truck applied. So will we see another rush exchange or someone just going to land one anyway? <laughs> there, here's Ooh, Ice. Iceman pulling that rush out of his playbook again. There's no situations that Yetta can ever win these rushes. I don't understand why Iceman is just so good about leaping forward. Oh, speaking of good rushes right there. The Mander actually decides to do its job, and we'll get 305 on Iceman, putting this back into Yetta's favor. Oh, the ice chains this begin! Oh, again! Gonna get a punish right there, and is out of the way, but not without taking another hit! Last hit for Yetta. If we, uh, ice if has the rush available as well. Ten seconds to go. Oh, that. Oh, blows him away right there, but he's going to need another hit. I don't know if even the manner would be enough. Oh, that's just it! Unfortunately, Yetta's jump was followed by Iceman, and he had nowhere to go. <sighs> Iceman asking, where's the poop ribbon? And finding it. Alright, I believe this is going to five, game five now. Let's see if we'll have this entire arc happen on one flat stage. <laughs> Shall we just spar once more? No, let's go to Redacted. Come on, let's go to let's go to Mausoleum, yeah. but gentlemen, they have the trampoline out from the beginning. Let's go to the Mausoleum today. We're going I mean, we're going back to Sorry, We know what's happening. Yetta says do your band. Buster and Scrap, and Yetta, Yetta, are you going to have this man do bands just so you can go to sparring again? We're playing Mausoleum! No! Let's go to the Mausoleum! Two days. Do, 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 do. Everybody come and play. Throw your opponent away. Let's go Let's to go the Mausoleum. the Mausoleum. Today. Today. Alright, both of them still see <laughs> yeah, Iceman the says you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> he really did. He really just wanted to not lose on sparring, I guess. Uh, the arc is unfortunately incomplete. It's a worse ending than the finale of How I Mother. This truly is the darkest timeline on the darkest stage. Iceman is going to be having the early disadvantage. Yetta is pulling through just a little bit with his health. He's brought the Popper out this time instead of the Mander. Which on Mausoleum, I can totally see why that would happen. That large cone will allow him to get some good dash reads. He goes for his rush right here out of the freeze. But Iceman is putting him right back into the state. Knocking him down in the air oh, with a chill Point up. black he god. He's rush for that. Man, Iceman is making fantastic use of some cross-ups with that bird chuck, throwing it to the one side and leaving Yetta, so he either has to defend himself from that or get hit by the Chilla. He has really no options when it comes to this. This popper, despite having a good uh, size and shape to hit a ribbon out, unfortunately does not provide the tools to really contest with these arms. Alright, so only one decent hit away. Yetta parrying goes for the grab, gets a popper. And... <laughs> He had to look dead in the water, but now has Rush. If he lands this... He's definitely still in this. If he gets one popper, it could all over. Just needs to make sure it's charged. He goes for the Rush raw. Actually reads the dash back, but Iceman is not out from that. They're at, like, dead even health. Oof. Wait, we had a what? He just stood there. Yeah, Iceman had every opportunity in the world. He does end up taking it and getting a Rush for it, but... He just stood there and stared at him. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they were having some kind of like telepathic communication of how to end this or something? Yeah, I mean, no one should ever question whether or not this is scripted. It absolutely is. Oh yeah, no, this is this is faker than robots versus wrestlers. Oh my word. Good hit right there with the toaster getting a knockdown. Still has to fear this rush, but he's playing like it doesn't even matter to him. His mind is clear, his point is true. He is super ribbon. I still avoiding everything. Trying to fight against Yetta right now, but 
finally gets that first hit. And I love seeing the difference in playstyle between these two. Yetta staying more grounded and using jumps more as a late evasion tool with Iceman trying to make things happen by going into different positions in the air. I love seeing the difference right here. Yetta is about to take this if Iceman doesn't pump up the heat. Come on, lads. You've got to break hit. open the trampoline for the last round. You, we know this is scripted anyways, guys. Let's just let's just have that trampoline out and have some bouncy, bouncy fun time. Here we go. Oh, there's the rush exchange. Iceman getting out of the way in time. 260 damage thrown right into him. Iceman is going to have to do obviously do some more damage to get the kill here, but he's got a good start. Yetta is trying to make a decent comeback, though. I, uh, the fast and furious punches from both in neutral. Finally, Ice goes down to Yetta's toaster. I mean, really, that's all this match has been, is just fast and furious neutral. Even when they're right in each other's faces like this, no one has an advantage. They just kind of stand around and wait to be like, okay, so do we back up now? Who's going to be having neutral now? It's like, okay, it's your turn. Trabampoline's still not yeah, now open. You go. I don't think it's even been damaged yet. I don't see any indications that it has been. Yeah, you have a firearm. You can knock him down right onto it. Just give it a go, man. Just give it a go. It'll be fine. Just do your best. Just try to, like, roast that weenie onto the trampoline. Really? He was right above it, and he's going to get carried right over. Held <laughs> no damage on the trampoline just from one edge to the other. Silly, silly ribbons. Oh, there's the rush coming out. It actually is going to land <laughs> carrying Iceman away into the edge. No one will dare to damage the all-powerful trampoline. As a one-punch away from certain doom. Ooh, there's a good hit, but I don't think... I think if he lands a charge oh, toaster, oh. it would be enough. Or the grab! The last second grab, and Yetta is going to be taking this set with the clutch last second plays. Oh, my God. Oh, that's what happens when you go to the Maws today. Yetta looking at his duplicate across the ring and saying no. Luchador Yeted, I am going to win.